Hey Kaya, it's Julia G. Kavanaugh and I made a bedtime story for you and it's called The Magical Mermaid by Julia G. Kavanaugh. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful mermaid named Misty who lived with her mother and sisters. While they were exploring stuff in a sunken treasure, the mermaids heard music. It was Ben Alligator's birthday today. When Misty sneaks into the ship, Ben Alligator saw her. It was love at first sight. Until Ben's evil father, K, King K. Rule, saw him, him with a real life mermaid, he was furious and didn't like her. Misty saw, Misty was scared and ran away because she was heartbroken. Back at the castle, Ben was locked up in his room and sang a sad song because he was all alone in the dark. When Misty heard his song, it was love, it was beautiful and romantic and she went up to him up to see him. Misty went and to Ben's castle. She saw how handsome he is and Ben saw how beautiful she is and they fall in love. When the king when the King K. Rule's guard heard, heard it behind the door, it would, he would tell him and his royal advisor, Captain Crocodile. Misty and Ben Alligator will meet again at sunset and agreed. They kissed and say goodbye. Misty told, told her mother and sisters that she's in love with Ben Alligator. Misty is playing her music box, her music box and praying for her love. Back at the castle, King K. Rule's guard told him that they will meet each other at sunset. The King K. Rule is furious, was furious, so he planned an attack at dawn. At sunset, Ben Alligator is giving Misty her hand in marriage. And then King K. Rule, Rule locked Misty in the cage. Ben Alligator fights his father to save her. He told his father that he would marry her.
Ben Allig I mean Misty and Ben Alligator are having a big wedding and got married and they live happily ever after with their children. The end.